Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series for you to learn all about Railway 2 train networks. I'm putting in functioning railway infrastructure. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to make a switching yard. In some parts of the world it's called a shunting yard and the technical term is a classification yard. Basically, switchers, which are engines that are like this, come into the yard and they take apart and put back together again trains preparing them for their destinations. I'm going to put that switching yard right in here and we'll move some things out of the way to make room for it. I'm going to make this switching yard semi-functional. The game has limitations and obviously we can't actually take apart and put together trains. But we're going to have some switchers, or shunters, working and running around in this yard. I'm going to take these tracks into here, and I'll be using invisible train stations and some assets that I'll show you later on. So for my switching yard, I'm going to come out in multiples of 24. And I'm going to put in 8 tracks. You can make your switching yards with one-way track. And in order to run the switchers, or the shunters, you're going to need single track AI. And I don't have that mod installed. I'm going to make my switching yard two track lines. I'm separating these out because when I connect to this line here, they'll have a smoother connection. You can use nodeless track to make those smooth. We might need to use nodeless track here. We'll see. You'll want to toggle road bending and put on anarchy. This outside line is not functioning yet. I plan to take cargo and bring cargo in on this line. Now we'll put in an invisible train station so that our shunters can run in and out on this line. We're going to remove four nodes for that. This is your invisible train station and we'll want to select Railway 2 Standard Entry Ground Level. Because these won't be carrying passengers, it really doesn't matter what side the platform is on. And just snap it in. Connect this up. You'll need to see these two crossovers on either side. The train station is right here in the middle. I'm going to put a train station here and I'll connect it up. 
I'm stretching this out so that the buffers come in. Normally, a classification yard connects up to one of the main lines or this branch line here. So I'm going to connect it up to the main line. You want to have a little bit of an angle to connect those other tracks in. We're going to have to move this one just a bit. My catenaries are not coming in, but those are pretty smooth connections. You can also plop those down. So now in this yard, I'm going to put a few of the invisible train stations. And I might want to plop down a little asset to know exactly where my train station is. An electrical box or something. Or a portable building. I'll put a link to all these assets in my description. If you don't like the color, you can plop these again until you get the color that you want. just so that I can visually see where my train stations are. So now I'm going to create some train lines. I've subscribed to two assets on the Steam Workshop. The 600 HP Center Cab CCRR Dummy Shunter and the 600 HP Center Cab NOPB Dummy Shunter with Cars. These Dummy Shunters are passenger trains. They have to be in order for you to create a line for them. So we're going to create some lines. Now we'll go to our lines overview and we're going to name these rail yard one and here we're going to choose a passenger train and you can see here is the 600 HP center cab CCRR this one doesn't have any cargo So because this line here, the black line, comes into the switching yard, I'm going to use the one with cargo. I'm going to name this rail yard 2. Color it something similar. And I'll use the same, the one that has the cargo. And for this train here, I'm going to choose the 600 HP center cab that doesn't have cargo. You can check these to make sure they have one train on each. And we'll unpause the game and watch these switchers run around the yard. These come with cars already pre-configured to them. 
I've tried to use random train trailers to switch those out and I'm not having any luck with it. If you know how to do that, leave a comment below the video. What we might do here is delete this train so that they come in a little bit more timed. have another asset that you can find in find it typing loco it's a little shed it's for rail doesn't quite fit over the double tracks once our train comes in we might put this in right where it stops One other thing that the asset creator suggests is to disable these in advanced vehicle options so that they're not appearing out on your passenger lines. We need to go to train passenger and disable these from spawning. The ones I've placed in the switching yard will spawn because we've connected it to a line. The other one is here, NOPB Shunter Cargo. You can see that it respawned because we have a train line connected to it. And to get those timed again, I might want to delete this one out. Right when they're together. See if we can time this one a bit better as well. In the next video, I'll show you how to plop down some static trains in the switching yard. If you're wondering how I've got these nice trailers on these trains, you can watch a video that I made on how to use the Random Train Trailers mod. Thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.